You see, we are created in a magnificent vibration, in an absolutely magnificent vibration. Born risk takers, free. That conditioning takes place after birth. You can change it. it takes guts. It takes goals. How do you know something? You're sitting there watching this, and you're thinking, "My God, I'm going to change something." I always say, keep reminding yourself that you have tremendous reservoirs of potential within you, and therefore you are quite capable of doing anything you set your mind to. You really can. I don't care what the cynics tell you. Quit listening to some of your peers. Now, all you must do is figure out how you can do it, not whether you can or not. When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? You've got to create a sense of urgency. I'm going to do it right now. Yep, you can see it. You can do it. The beautiful truth is, you can do anything. We got to know there is a place. There is a specific frequency. And yep, you get on that frequency, you're going to attract what you need to you. This is what it's all about. Why have you been endowed with such awesome powers? Yep, you'll make a committed decision. This I'm going to do, and you don't have to know how. You do not have to know how. The second you make the committed decision, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to attract what you have to attract to manifest the thing that you want. If you can see it, you can do it. It's got to be something you want. Wants come from inside. Act like you're already there. Walk, talk, speak, live like you're already there. Don't set a small goal. Don't set something that doesn't really wind your step. Set it so big it jazzes you. It really gets you going. When something of a very high nature resonates with the very high side of you, you'll know it. You'll know it. You will feel it. Feeling is conscious awareness and vibration. The only prerequisite: Do you want it? Not do you need it? Not could you do it? The only prerequisite is: Do you want it? Take the lid off your marvelous mind and dream. For goodness sake, give yourself the right to do that. Get your analytical mind out of the way. Put it in your pocket for a while. All you're doing is exploring, daydreaming. What did Lawrence say? All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did.